bit about the defensive identity this year, saying that you need gritty. Mm-hmm. Would you say that? I know it's a short time together so far in the off season, but would you agree with him on that? Oh yeah, you know we play with a lot of swagger. You know, uh, just some hard nosed guys, just just working hard every day, just trying to dominate this league in each and every way. So. He's just a big physical dude, and he's going to be fun to watch him camp when we get those pads on. Um, you know, everybody has some room to grow, all of us, even me. Um, so he's getting it. He knows the plays, uh, and he's coming on, coming along pretty good. So. Early last year, you were pretty open about some off-the-field adversity when it came to mental health. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there was that other off-the-field issue. Just what have you really taken away from those experiences last year and how do you enter, how do you enter this season you know, kind of pushing forward? Uh, you know, I learned from, from some things. You know, I had my, my baby boy being b- born 16 weeks early. Um, he's healthy now, uh, doing good. So that's some weight taken off my shoulders. Uh, so I just keep my head down, man, stay focused here in this building and try to keep everything outside of here in line and stay focused. So. A couple more. Was, was there any sense last year when that was going on that football, even if for a week or two, might be taken away from you at all? Uh, meaning like me yeah. taking time off? Yeah. Um, if – if I think you're asking what you know what you're asking, then uh, I was gonna take some time off, honestly. But you know, I just kept praying and staying strong. My teammates kept me encouraged, and uh, it was hard, no lie. Uh, beginning of the season, what we played Tennessee, caught the little interception, gave me a little hope. I ain't gonna lie, um, but because it was it was tough the first few weeks of the season, man. And you know, I just pray this year be a you know a year of you know I know adversity will come, but just fight through it even more, you know. When was your son born, and which teammates helped lift you up during that time? He was born October twentieth. Um, a lot of the guys, a lot of the guys, honestly, man. Uh, Colin, I actually had a baby born. I think after that or right before that. Uh, Chris reached out to me. Tyran, um, just really all the guys on defense, offense, everybody just because they knew what I was going through. You know, uh, without all the situations outside of here, and with him being born so early, you know, I'm at the hospital every day after practice, and it was so tough. To like eleven o'clock after getting out of practice at six o'clock, so they they helped me a lot and helped me get through th- those times. So, Tony, I want to take you back to yesterday. Mahomes has known your past. Yeah, you saw that. Smith <laughs> <laughs> Schuster said that he was on the sideline and he got faked out by it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you were in front of him. How much in your mind when you see something like that? Uh well I'm gonna go to what my coach said he was like he said I was eye banging the quarterback looking at him too long but I told him I said coach I looked at the receiver he sat down in his route Patrick stared him down I jumped the route and next thing I know he threw it like this so I said you know there's nothing too much I can do about that it's just only one quarterback in the league can do that I think so and I'm on his team so we pretty good so well, okay. last so, one piggybacking off that just what does it do for you when you're playing these other quarterbacks that mm-hmm. Honestly, I treat all quarterbacks the same, but the good thing for me is my quarterback, I feel, is better than all of them. So when I take pieces away from practice and I use it in a game, it makes it easier because I know Patrick can throw this no look. I know this guy going to throw it down and throw, stare him down and throw it right to him or probably fake me inside and throw it out, you know, just something simple like that. So. Thanks, Willie. Thank you. Appreciate it.